Don't look now. But I think the Celtics are about to shoot more three-pointers. I don't know if that's exactly what uh, Joe Mazzulla meant by the killer whale, the orca whale, the killer whale offense. Like, I'm all new to this. I check out in these preseasons. But apparently, well, that was uh, the first cut you heard was Jalen Brown on the Hot Chicken podcast or something. There's a, are there two Hot Chicken podcasts? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That's news to no, me. I think there is. You so got me. So we have the Hot Chicken guy here like the, that interviewed Swayman, uh-huh. right? Uh, Shut Up Mark? Or, oh, what's yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that yeah. one called? Yep. Okay, I think he's the hot. He does a hot. It's a hot chicken tie-in, and then is, was this Jalen Brown podcast like another hot chicken thing where it's like a dare about you eat hotter and hotter chicken? Oh, you go? Um, yeah, this is uh, what the hell is that show? Uh, hot ones, I think it's called. Yeah, and the celebrities well, come on, and I, I think there's like dueling hot chicken podcast. Yeah, the Shut Up Mark one sponsored by a hot chicken restaurant. This one is specifically you sit there, you eat wings, and you get peppered with questions. No pun intended. Okay, so like, I mean, what? I'm so out of it. I, just, I lose track of the hot chicken podcast. I had no idea. But that's what that first uh, cut was, Jalen Brown on one of those hot chicken podcasts talking about Joe Mazzulla and the, or the, the killer whale offense, which I, I think they mean to mean that we're just going to mercilessly pick on the bad defensive players on the other side. You know, what you see everyone does in the playoffs, they isolate, run some, you know, pick and rolls and, you know, get isolated good players on crappy defenders. But they're going to show no mercy this year like a pack of orca killer whales. They're going to hunt bad defensive matchups and just take advantage of it, which I am all for. Like, I think that's good basketball. That's smart. That's competitive. I'm into it. Joe there was sort of conflating that with the increased three-pointers, which watch out. I think they're going to go even more into the three-point thing this year. Last year, they led the NBA with 42 and a half three-point attempts per game. Correct. 42 and a half. Again, most in the league. This preseason, here are their three-point attempts per game. You ready? Yep. 61, 47, 47, 53, 55. What's that average out to? 52 and a half. So an increase la- of almost 25%. They want to get to sit like 60 a game. Last year they led the league with 42 and a half. <laughs> and I think someone over there said not enough more. And because it's just math, more as we've been told. It's not raining hot enough. By, Rain harder. By basketball experts, math works. Uh, the odds say math works, right? Math works. Thank you, JJ. Do I people thought, like this? I thought they took 62 in the Denver game, but go ahead. Well, maybe we're off one. I don't know. Maybe they took one back on replay. Could I don't be, know. Probably. <laughs> but their three point attempts this season 61, 47, 47, 53, 55, averaging 52, 10 more per game than last year, which is a massive amount, a massive increase. And they led the league last year. And I'm here to tell you that. I think that offensive approach that they have is so overrated. I think they have a wonderful team. Uh, they have the best talent in the league, and they should win again. But I And I rejected it last year, too. I do not think that they win because of their offensive approach. Uh, okay. Well, I'll disagree with you on that. And I'm sorry. They don't win because they take a lot of three-pointers. They win because they have the best players. Exactly. That's what it comes down to. And again, that is sort of the pack mentality that you're talking about. Like, pick your poison. I mean, it's just, it's like, I mean, in the old days, uh, Glenn and others used to tell me that there's nothing more overrated in sports than X's and O's in basketball. And scheme, like, they used to mock the triangle offense in Chicago. And for good reason. Do you think they won those championships in Chicago because of the triangle offense? No. Or was it Jordan and Pippen and Rodman, et cetera? I would have stopped at Jordan. Right. Okay. <laughs> but it was the players. They could have run the triangle, picket fence, uh, square and one, whatever. They could have run anything. And they were going to win because they had the best players. And I'd say the same thing here. In fact, I think the three-point shooting hurts them. And I don't care what nerd tells me otherwise. I think it hurts Tatum specifically. I think it he falls into bad habits. Uh with some of his shot selection because I think he's encouraged to shoot threes. And I think it I, it's actually hurt Tatum offensively. It's gotten him farther away from the basket. He would have an incredible, unstoppable, Durant-like mid-range game if he just took it because of his length and his shooting touch. But when he's back there, you know, winding up from his knees, I, I, I he lost his shot. And, you know, it's, it's hard to get it back when you're shooting from 26 feet. So, uh, 
He's been brainwashed by this coach and this analytics department that you're not supposed to play that way. You're better off being beyond the arc. Which right. I, I hate it aesthetically anyway, by the way. It's also right. Like, I don't enjoy the style. Uh, like, whenever you watch, like, Jalen Brown got a tremendous mid-range game. When Jalen Brown turns around from the elbow and hits a two-point jump shot, I'm like, huh. like, that was refreshing. Normally, you know, you would never think that. It's like almost like when I watch an NFL football game and the quarterback actually lines up under center and the tailback's in a deep eye and he just goes back and hands it off from under center to the tailback and he runs off tackle. I'm like, oh, that felt that. Thank you. Like it's almost, it's almost refreshing at this point to see a quarterback under center or someone shoot a two point basket. That's not a dunk. You know what I mean? Yeah, and Brown's game is money in there. So I, I think Brown's, the sweet spot for Brown is that the elbow, not the elbow extended. And I think Tatum is actually hurt by th- all the three-pointers that he takes. And I think if and when you win again, it will not be because of math. It won't be because you shoot a lot of three-pointers, just like last year. It wasn't because you shot a lot of three-pointers. That's not why you if won. If they don't win the championship, it'll be because the better team won. Well, there's that too. But you didn't win last year because you're a three-point shot. You won because your defense and you have the best players. And it's like, but I, I, I think Missoula is... And not in that order. I think Missoula is so wrapped up in the analytics and so bought into what they're doing upstairs that someone ran the numbers and said, we should even be shooting more. I know we led the league, but we should be shooting yeah, more. wasn't enough. Oh, I don't think there's any question. They're going to shoot over 53s a game this year or something close to it. Yes, sir. Yeah, that number's going up. I, 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 to me, that was apparent after the first game. If you like that clip, check out more videos from Felger and Maz here. For more Celtics analysis and opinion, hit this playlist. And for all the latest from the Sports Hub, download the app at 98.5thesportshub.com.